Hi, my name is Hannah. I will be teaching you bookbinding today. Um, bookbinding is a method of um, recording history that has been used in many different cultures, however has roots in Native American craft and culture. It has been a method of recording history for thousands of years and um, we will be binding our own today that looks a lot like this and is this. Um, so let's continue the tradition. So um, what are some methods people have used to record their stories in the past? Do you have any ideas? I would like to talk about ways that you record your stories. Do you have a blog or do you have a journal? Um, do, you, do you write songs? Do you take photos or do you draw? Um, do you take photos of your family, with your family? Do you think it's important to record our history or our lives? Um, I mean, you, you can do any of these things when you're journaling. And it's, anybody can be a storyteller. And it's just a matter of if you want to record what you're doing and and how you're doing it. So um, what I would like to do is show you how to bind a book and what we're gonna do is if you would take the, the, the thread off of your book and then you find the end with the with the knot at the end of it and you let the rest of the string go what you do is you take the end that does not have a knot at it and then you take the purple is on one side of the book and the green is on the other side of the book. So we'll be starting with the purple and what you want to do is you want to start on the inside of the first signature each Each group of pages is called a signature and what you do is you pull the thread through the hole in the signature and then what you do is you pull then you take the end of the string and then you sew the next um, the next signature to the first one so what you do is you take the um, you take your thread and you find the um, the hole that lines up with um, with the hole that you just sewed out of, and then you bind them together. Okay, so then you come out of the um, out of the pink signature, and you go into the purple signature and now the only tricky part is what you gotta do is you got to go through the same hole that you started in and that can be a little tight so you just wanna squeeze the thread out of there Okay, and then once you've got that, then you want to make sure you pull it tight. And now we have we have two signatures that are bound together. And then we'll get our third one going. What we always do is we always open it and enter through the spine of the signature. And um, we will pull the thread through the 
recording whole. Okay. Well, you know what? I really need to move this other book away from here <laughs> because I keep getting my threads confused. So, um, so what we do is take the end of your thread, make sure you don't get your neighbor's thread in your book, then we And then we come through uh, this, the second hole of the third signature. And this is where the bind becomes a little, a little trickier. What you have to do at this point is um, you, what you do is you slide in between the thread, the, um, the two threads of um, that, that bound the first two signatures together and then you pull that through. And then what you do is you add your fourth signature to the book and what you do is pull the thread through and what you'll be doing here is coming out of the inside of the fourth signature going to the previous stitches you've made and then what you'll do is you'll slide underneath that stitch and then we've come to our last signature. So what we will do is we will splay this signature. So we'll open this and then we will find the end of our thread like that and then we will poke that through the hole that we have made and we will up oh, and if it gets tangled all you have to do is very gently um, try to untangle it because usually it's not very tangled and then you can just pull it out and what you do is you pull that nice and tight. This is the last signature and the last hole. And what we'll be doing is there are two ways to tie off your book. What you can do is you can, um, you can, well, you have to come underneath and loop around the, the previous stitch you made. And then you come to the end here and you can tie it off on the outside. And then you have a way to wrap the, um, the book. Or the way that looks a little bit more neat and organized is if you, um, if you go back through the hole that you just came through and then you, you pull the thread through and then you slide the, the thread underneath the um, where it's sewn in the middle and then you tie off your signature. So whenever you've made that knot, your book is bound. So Thanks for making these journals with me. When we continue these traditions, we not only honor the past, but we create the stories of the future. So, thanks a lot.